Hello everyone, it's Excellent Price. So I'm back to another video. Today I'm here with the Kingdom Hearts news slash speculation video. So this is a little bit of both. Um, this is mostly news and speculation, <laughs> like like I said. Um, half of this video will be will be speculation on when I think this will happen, and half of it, half of it will be news because I'll be reading you an interview on this topic. So. Anyways, today you're probably wondering what I'm talking about, but not really because you know the title of the video. So yeah, today I'm talking about K Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 possibly coming to next gen consoles, PS4 and Xbox One. Now, why should this happen? I think this should happen mainly because, well, well to start off with, Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming to Xbox One, and pretty much no one on Xbox's side who love who likes Kingdom Hearts. Has, pretty much has like <laughs> has any of the previous games so this will be a perfect opportunity to bring Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 to Xbox One and PS4 to Xbox One or 360 which one whichever one they choose to do it in and also um um I've been wanting to buy me a PS3 just so I could play 1.5 and 2.5 because you know because I, I don't I remember saying this in a previous video as soon as 1.5 came out my PS3 broke and I haven't had a PS3 ever since so I've just been sticking here on my PS4 which I enjoy so don't get me wrong about that I enjoy my PS4 so um I'm just I am hoping that 1.5 and 2.5 come to PS4 so yeah anyways now I'm going to read you guys the little interview that <laughs> Taiyusei, um, I think I pronounced that right, um, the co-director for Kingdom Hearts had with IDN, um, they had an interview. So, when we first came up with the idea for Kingdom Hearts 3, it was always, it was always 1.5, then 2.5, and we were always thinking about those three tiles at the same time, he explains. I think putting the games on PS4 is something we'll explore. We understand what our players want, so we will explore the possibility. I'm not making any announcements, though. We can't make any announcements yet. He put that in exclamation points. But while Sony games would likely appreciate the refresher with Kingdom Hearts 3 heading to Xbox One as well as PS4, arguably it's Xbox owners that need the earlier installments of the game more than anyone else. When asked about whether an Xbox One edition of 1.5 or 2.5 could ever see the light of day, Yayu, Yasu was hesitant. While the initial reasoning behind this was thought to be the initial exclusive exclusivity deal with Sony, it seems resources play just as much of a part. It's a big old question, he says. There's a lot of things we need to think of when we consider consoles. One of them is what our players want, so we will definitely consider that. But there's also schedule constraints, as we really don't want the development of Kingdom Hearts 3 going later going slower so we have that to think about we'll consider all these things and come to a decision so I'm sorry if I read some of those wrong there because I, I this is like really small on my screen because you know I have my thing and this so let me just enlarge that a little bit and uh all right we're good all right so well all right so obviously they're considering 1.5 and 2.5 coming to PS4, but if this happens, it would have, it would kind of, sort of, kind of have to happen either right after, either right after they make a 3D Dream Drop Distance one or before, whichever one comes first. But I, that's a topic for another video. But anyways, if 1.5 and 2.5 come to PS4 or Xbox One, it would have to be either this year or very, very early next year, because. Um, the most likely scenario for Kingdom Hearts 3 is that Kingdom Hearts 3 will come out late 2016. That's what most people are saying. But I, I personally think 2017, but that's a topic for another video also. So, yeah, I have a lot of videos to make on different, on my opinions on these things. So anyways, guys, this was just a quick little video telling you guys that, just th that this stuff happened. By the way, I know this is kind of old news. Like, this interview happened in, happened December 2nd of 2014. But um, if you watch my State of the Channel video for 2015, you you know why I didn't make that video. So I'll go ahead and put that video in the outro right now. So <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like. So if you if you still if you have your PS3 or 1.5 and 2.5, if it came to PS4 or Xbox One, whichever one you have, would you would you get it again? Would you? Um, I I personally would if I had it because. You know, next then it'll look even better than it already does, and also, you know, next then, 
yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, would you guys get it? I would, personally. But, yeah, um, comment down your opinions below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later. And don't forget to always, and always, and always be a prodigy. See you guys next time. Peace out.